Libra, beautiful soul, how are you? My name is Alicia, welcome. Welcome back, this is Empath Tarot, where spirits' messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now in this reading, we are going to pull some messages that are gonna help uncover any abundance blocks you may be experiencing at this time, money or love related. If there is a certain amount of money you would like to manifest into your beautiful life or that special somebody, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe. If you're interested in receiving a personal reading with myself and spirit, all of the details will be down in the description box below along with my husband if you haven't yet you got to check him out he's over at 7d tarot and be sure to stick around until the end of this reading we're going to be pulling a final message from your angels libra you're on your way baby and you're being guided you're being guided right into an opportunity that is going to satisfy your beautiful soul all you got to do at this time is let go of the old to allow space for the new all right so you got to be very perceptive energetically on what no longer suits the life that you're intending to live meaning that you got to get really familiar all right energetically with yourself that means you got to spend time with yourself okay in visualizing and practicing using your imagination um, with the intent of your life so whatever you'd like your life to look like the person you're inspired to become the person the life you'd like to create for yourself you have to spend time feeling the energy of what that feels like that way you can discern in your daily life what doesn't fit and match that mold i'll give you an example low-hanging fruit for me i want to be a high energized high vibing alkalized being meaning that i understand caffeine doesn't fit that mold therefore my intention is to eliminate the coffee out of my life something along those lines that's what it would look like because i recognize that that choice doesn't align me with the version of myself that i'm inspired by right that's all we are asking of you now in order for you to become the true master and leader of your life you have to understand first of all this is an organic process so please don't be hard on yourself all we ask you to do is be very receptive to how you energetically feel that's the only thing that matters if you're feeling energetically very happy and joyful you are telling the universe I am ready for my rebirth I am ready for what's coming next I am ready for what you have for me universe but if we are showing up to the party ornery right if we are impatient if we're kind of letting the universe know I ain't ready don't send it my way you know what hold off on the abundance universe we don't really want to send out that frequency, right? We want to send out the frequency that we're ready and that we're, 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 we're about this, right? So now would be a good time in your life to set those beautiful boundaries, those healthy boundaries, so that you can make the most out of your life. That means creating systems, beautiful soul, that allow you to get to the abundant being that you're looking to create. How this would look like is this. Everything must have a purpose or an intent. So I wake up early, I exercise, and I meditate as my foundation of starting the day because that allows me to wake up early as my offering to the universe. I am clearing my energy through the exercises and I meditate so I am connected. That is the surefire way that you will always be successful in this game of life. I start this morning routine very early. I have lots of time in the day. I don't feel rushed because it's early. I'm with my own energy and it's very magnetic. So that's what I do to start my day. That's my intent, my purpose, because I know that that is going to be the create the person that I'm inspired by. I'm creating the best version of myself and it starts with that morning routine. From there, I will uh, perhaps learn something new, take some notes, talk to spirit, and then I will move on to what else is planned in the day. Every day, every moment has a certain significant time. Anything that's a priority gets its own time slot and also a system so that you show up and be your best self for that system. I'm my best self when I'm drinking juice. So I will always have juice made and with me while I'm reading because that's gonna be how I show up and be my best. I also exercise and meditate for that very reason. Everything has a purpose. Remember, you are the leader of your life. You are the, the, the creator of your life, meaning that you have to create in a way or show up in a way that reflects what you're truly desiring. If you show up in this world and you just wake up, you're sleeping in or you're waking up at like, you know, the usual time, you're not getting your exercises and prioritizing it, you're not prioritizing meditation, you're not gonna be in a high vibrational state to be able to connect to your higher self. You're gonna have thoughts that are gonna take you in a low place. You're gonna feel very negative. If you're not living a life of purpose, you're going backwards and that doesn't feel good for us. That's why every day you have to be receptive to what happened that day and how it could be a little bit better by tweaking it every single day. You know what, today I did this and I feel like if I made this choice, 
I would have felt a lot better. I always, this happens for me when I was on my journey and I was eating too late. Ah, oh, I always feel tired when I wake up. I felt sluggish. Do you know what? Then my higher self came through and said, well, what if you ate earlier? I just knew that. It's an internal knowing, you know? And then you give it a try. You know what? I know that I should try and eat a little bit earlier. Okay, let's do it tomorrow. Do you know what I mean? It's always just about being on purpose, being aware of your own life. Who cares about what's going on around you? That really is irrelevant if you want to know the truth. If you've gone through any recent, uh, you know, moments of separation, disappointment, um, breakups of any kind, understand that this is going to be what aligns you with your best self with that six of wands. So I know it doesn't feel like it, but our worst case is always our best case. It ends up being feeling really good to us. But we feel like right now it'd be time to let that energy go if you're still holding on to it. So if something from your past brought you a lot of emotional pain, you cannot be thinking about that thing. You cannot be focused on it. You have to move forward in order to heal. You have to be constantly living that life of purpose, progression, okay, and consistency with your life of purpose and progression so that you can receive clarity on whatever that thing was that wounded you to begin with, okay? You will never receive the outcome or the clarity for what you'd like to heal by focusing on the thing itself. Well, what can I do to fix my finances? Why am I not abundant? Why hasn't my house showed up yet? Why is it that this person behaved like this? All that stuff, that's not gonna help you. It's the same frequency as the problem itself. We have to elevate our frequency to see clearly and receive the solution of it. So we need you now to start connecting to the earth, getting grounded. So going for walks in nature, spending some time with yourself in the forest near trees, but connecting with the earth's frequency and disconnecting from the frequencies of your busy life. The frequencies of cities, buildings, technology, opinions of others, low frequencies, this stuff, this stuff won't help you. That stuff will take you out. So what we need you to do is start connecting to the frequencies that will give you life nature, clearing your energy through dance, maybe doing some dancing just to move your body, channel that energy from spirit, just move freely. Don't put a logic into it, just move. And truly start looking for the magic and for the good things in your life, looking for the fairies, because they're there for you, Libra. You better believe it. You better believe you have fairies there. Matter of fact, do this for yourself right now, all right? Write this down in the comments below. I attract wealth into my life. Write this down, do it for you. And if you can't do it for yourself because you're not in that vibe yet, then do it for your angels. I attract wealth into my life. I attract wealth into my life. This is the kind of focus we need you to have right now because there are opportunities that are here for you, but if your actions don't allow Align with these opportunities and if your vibration we should say if your vibration doesn't align with these opportunities they'll bounce right off your low frequency now your actions are the motivation you see so the way that I like to feel is through the act of waking up early exercising and meditating it's not the thing itself it how it's makes it's how it's making me feel that I want to align with does that make sense that's why if we look to surface oh I gotta wake up early what I gotta work out what I gotta eat healthy right if we focus on the surface and we're not used to it we're gonna be really negative about it we're gonna look at it as it's a bad thing and then we're not gonna receive as much. It's not an on-purpose choice, right? So just know that it's how it makes you feel. So be the observer of your life, beautiful soul, because the more you observe those really good energies, the more you are playing the game of life accurately. That's what it's about. Everything here holds a frequency, but if we're not observing the frequencies and the energies to a place where we're receptive to it or we're, we're, you know, we're on purpose, you know, feel the energy of sleeping in one day and then feel the energy of waking up early. How much better do you feel waking up early. Do you know what I mean? You're more productive, you're more proactive, you feel better. It's just a better feeling, right? So really seek out the energies in your life that give back to you. And and and, and without focusing on the things that don't, just recognize the more you add in, more at good frequencies and you look for the good frequencies, then the, the ones that don't resonate will slowly start to drop away. Get rid of those old lingering frequencies that don't really match you because they are taking you away from being able to see the choices that are that you need to make to align with your true, uh, your true intention of life. Your angel message for today, beautiful soul is reward yourself. This is incredible message here for you today. So the rebirth card we're going to present because this is you right now, you're reinventing yourself and creating the best version of yourself. The angel message for today is you've been giving a lot of yourself lately and it's time for you to receive, make the time to reward yourself in a meaningful way. This balance of giving and receiving is essential to keeping your energy, mood, and motivation at a consistently high level. If you do something and it doesn't give back to you, you want to tweak it. 
you don't just want to keep doing it and hoping it gets better, right? It's like when I started drinking juice, I gravitated more towards the green juices and the celery juices, and that worked really well. I started incorporating fruit juices. That did not work very well. Even though the rest of the world thrives on fruit juices, my avatar, my body does not. So I had to recognize that. So you don't want to be connected to, again, what the rest of the world is doing. You really want to be interpreting and connecting to your own frequency, what your inner guidance is saying to you. Once I got back on the green juice, everything was hunky-dory. And once I got on the green juice for a while and I alkalized my body, I was then able to be more receptive to the, the more sugar juices. This happens to be beet and carrot. I stick to vegetables. I actually don't juice too many fruits. So that's just how the game of life works. You gotta be receptive to your own frequency, recognize what choices you're making that align with the version of yourself you wanna be. Don't be hard on yourself if you make a choice that doesn't. Just look at it as contrast. Ah, I see, this choice didn't work for me. And yeah, you might have to go to sleep and start all over again irrelevant. The point is you got the lesson and you won't have to make that choice again. But do know that things will clear up for you mentally and you'll have more awareness when you do connect to the frequencies that give back to you. And the earth is very cleansing. So if you feel like you just need to get clear, you just need to release, you just need to feel like you and you just can't break free from that mental struggle, connect with the earth. Be around the nature more because it you or your vibration will match the earth and it will the frequency of earth will cleanse your uh, aura. We love you so much. We hope you enjoyed your reading. We hope there were messages in here for you. And if there was, like and subscribe. We truly appreciate you. Spirit loves you. I love you. And until our next reading, keep shining, baby.